this person allowed other people now other when i say other people could be a third party that they're with could be a family member could be a friend i don't know yet it just what came up was messy people all right this person allow those people to get in the way and now they're separating from those people they've separated themselves from them right so like if the, for some of you all of this person was married they're they're no longer listening to this mar the person that they were married to or they're separated from them or they listened to a friend who had just was going through a divorce like that type of energy i don't know right um it's going to be different for everybody this person misses you they cannot let you go the energy of this person missing you and they can't let you go is all over this reading. We have, I'm insecure, I regret everything, don't let me go, please don't leave, I miss you, let's move away. This person thinks that you've moved on to new love and that this is over. This person wants is is really wants to talk to you and really bad like right now. I can't hold back any longer. This person really wants to talk collective. Show me more energy for the divine masculine, please. Thank you. Yeah. You are everything that this person ever dreamed of, ever wanted, ever you are everything that this person didn't know that they needed in their life. But see, it took all of this to happen naturally so it feels like to me you guys had to step away from this and take a break or you know it seems like to me you really don't have anything to do with whatever is happening in the background because it's, it's giving five of wands energy <sighs> you know but it just it, it just looks like to me i'm seeing you're everything that this person has ever prayed for, wanted, that they didn't even know that they needed in their life, seems like. And now they're regretting this, allowing other people to get in the way. This person's very worried that it's too late. You know, this person is saying they know they were a fool for listening to other people, but they're truly sorry for what they allowed to take place. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. this person's done pretending they want to speak with you they they want to put everything out on the line express how they feel get their emotions get they, I feel like this person wants to get something off of their chest here but they're afraid that you may have moved on and it's too late and also too this person's very insecure you see what I'm saying they feel like you let them go and for some of you all you did let them go and you're, you've moved on to new love you know what I'm saying so um, show me what else here for the divine masculine. Yeah, they, you, this is your choice here. They know this is your choice and you let them go. It's like the power is in your hands and this person knows that you hold the power in your hands here. For some of you all, this person did allow someone in their family to get in the way of this situation. So like maybe someone's mother who's like heavily way too much involved has opinions about things that they shouldn't have even really had opinions about. So someone could be a mama's boy, you know, a, a mommy's girl, whatever, male or female, doesn't matter. And it feels like to me now this divine masculine is focusing on themselves okay so there's a drama queen involved in this situation i feel like this is somebody who either they have a family with or this is someone in their family i feel like this person just sits back and starts drama because they enjoy it because they don't really have too much going on in their life or they're unhappy with their own life you guys just said you know what i'm gonna step away from this you let them go and you decided to focus on yourself yeah this is crazy yeah you decided not to take action towards this person this you know what also too you wanted to let this person go but this person is so afraid to come towards you they want to reunite with you bring balance back into a situation for some of you this could be a twin yeah see 
this energy of them choosing you. So now this person's like having some form of awakening and they're sorry for taking so long to realize it's been you. When all of this drama was happening in the background or people were gossip, talk, whatever this messy energy is, I feel like your person listened to this this group of people or this person or this drama queen or just or this drama king. And now they're regretting it. Hmm. Yep, look at this. New love has popped up twice. This person thinks that you've moved on. But this this is also, I feel like, the energy of your person wanting to re reconcile with you and they want your forgiveness. Okay. What else here for the collective? And the divine map. This person is stuck in their heads with this eight of swords energy here. Um, four of wands and reversed here too. So this is telling me like, this person feels maybe trapped in their own home, okay? Like if they're going through something in their own home and this person's going through a divorce. For some of y'all, this person lives with someone else and they feel stuck and trapped in a situation. They feel tied down. You know, this regret, I feel like it's like a monkey on their back. They may even be feeling a little bit mentally unstable because this is very emotional energy here. Yeah, there's nothing solid about this at all. So if this person is coming back to yeah, if this this person is so afraid that it's too late. There this person's really trying to remain hopeful that this is going to walk like like they're afraid that you've already walked out of their life with this dying love energy. Yeah. I'm telling you, this person's going through it, you guys. They feel like they sabotaged a connection with the divine with the divine counterpart. Then this I feel like this person is not taking very good care of themselves because self-care came out in reverse. So this is definitely giving some form of depression or emotional um and, you know and and I know I get it, you know. I mean, this feels like you listen you listen to Tom, Dick and Sally and now look where that got you. Now this person wants to reunite with you and come together and reconcile and they're having some form of spiritual awakening they, they're understanding what this connection meant to them what you meant to them and this person wants to go out with you talk with you maybe even go on a nice little date or something here but i just don't see this person has learned a spiritual lesson this is so crazy how these cards are coming out this person's learned a divine lesson and they really really are hoping that you haven't let them go and moved on a new love wow this is crazy this person, you guys, this divine masculine feels like you're acting really cold, okay? Like, you don't really have anything to say to them. But the thing is, is like, for some of you all, this person is pretending like they're okay. But in actuality, they're not okay. This is them. Maybe during the day, they're acting fine, but they're not fine. Mm-mm. No, this person is not okay. I promise you, they are not okay. Let's see what else is going on here for the Divine Masculine, please. And thank you. What else for the Divine Masculine? Yeah, this person misses you so bad. This person is lost without you. For some of you all, you, you may have this person on block. They may have ghosted you. Or you may have just abruptly stopped speaking to them or communicating with them here with insatiable quenching thirst and lost and ghosted and blocked off here. You 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 blocked this person off because you felt like they just weren't you just didn't want to be a part of whatever this was happening in the background. This person's not done with you. They have they they feel like there's unfinished business with done being here in reverse. They they really cannot let you go and they're having a really hard time. So, yeah, this person definitely allowed their fears and insecurities to get in the way of what was going on between the two of you. See, there are a lot of differences between you and this person. And this person now is realizing, um, I think you really felt like you did everything you could to try to make this relationship work. And you feel like, you know what? now is this not going to be the time you know unfortunately maybe we'll get it we'll get it right the next lifetime you know what i'm saying because that's what this is looking like with differences in divine timing it's just not <sighs> yeah it's it's just not yeah i don't 
there is a third party here, some gossip. Again, whoever this drama queen is, there are people in the background really like literally running their mouths or gossiping. There are some very messy people in your divine masculine's life that they really need to get away from, feels like. Yeah. This person desires you so much. There was a lot of chemistry, sexual attraction between the two of you here. This person feels like you're the one who got away. Yeah, see what I'm saying? Toxic. This For some of you all, this is a soul tie. But either way, this person feels like you're the one that got away. And this person is really sad and hurt without you. They're very upset. It's giving that this person hasn't learned the lesson that they need to learn right now. And so, unfortunately, like you may not reconcile in this lifetime because I feel like this person hasn't learned their lesson now I'm, and when I say I feel like this person hasn't learned their lesson collective I'm saying like you will hear from them they will call you but they still haven't really learned that lesson like they're not ready to reunite they're not in a healthy state they haven't finished all of the in. Um, oh you know they're going to call you so you know you're getting ready to hear from this person. You, you're you not going to be surprised when this person comes back around. Some of you all may already know that this person's sad and in this energy now. Some of you all, yeah, this person is dreaming about you physically, sexually here with this attraction and Mars energy. For some of you all, this person could be, could have like a record. Um... Or this is someone here who's always in and out of your life here. A um, bit of a player energy here. Hmm. Yeah, this is a bit of a player energy here. This is somebody who had some third... This is There's some third-party secrets. Somebody either here has some addiction issues. Um, maybe they're doing drugs. They're definitely toxic because we've already seen the toxic energy come out here. But what came out with toxic and bad habits was love affair, down low, and secrets. This person may have a secret a secret addiction that you may not be aware of. But being, with, being that trust your intuition is here, I think you guys really know this. So this person may feel like they're hiding something or they may think they're hiding something from you. And they're not hiding anything from you. Um, this person could have wanted you to be a third party in a situation, which could have been a lot of you all why you let the ass go. Show, show me what else. Yeah, look at this. Spiritual path and ascension. This is you getting the hell away from this person and turning your back on them too because this person is walking away, walking up these steps. This is you detaching from the situation. Look, hold on. Let me show you this. This is you detaching and walk away, walking away from this and being cold and just just letting it go mm -hmm. but they want you back so expect a phone call from this person this is so funny and crazy yeah this person definitely feels like you're going to reject them they're going through it okay for some of you all you may get a phone call from jail from some people okay Man, this person's not happy, you guys. This person is like going through an extreme dark night of the soul. The happiness card came out in reverse with the shadow side. Dark night of the soul card in reverse. This person is going through some form of depression. These came out in reverse. This is like extreme depression. Wow. All right. Show me Divine Masculine energy here well let's see about this this messy people here show me about these messy people show me about these messy people could be a leo all right this person was afraid to trust their own instinct trust their own judgment they didn't have confidence they just listened to other people so I feel like at the time, this person was not being a leader. They were being a follower, to be quite honest. Um, yeah, see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's exactly what this was. They let this person lack confidence and they listen to other people with the strength card and the nine of swords. To be Leo, like I said, or Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius here. This is fear, anxiety, worry, upset, lack of confidence. Just... 
this person just depends on the other people's opinions when they should be worried about their own opinion. They they leaned on other people's opinion. All right, what was that? Page of Wands and the Death card. Scorpio energy and Aries Leo Sagittarius energy here. For some of y'all, you ended it with this person because they wouldn't commit or they didn't have enough to offer you. All they had was just this page energy here. Um, so you ended it. This person refused to change. They were very impulsive, like in and out, like I said, type of energy. So you ended it. But this person wants to talk. Show me more about this Divine Masculine. Yeah, King of Swords. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius here. For some of you, all this person could wear glasses or contacts, and they may love watches too. This is somebody here who is think who thinks head over heart. They're very smart. They're they think a lot, especially with this King of Swords being here with this Nine of Swords. This person spends, let me show you this. This person spends a lot of time in their head, which is which is why it's so easy for other people to influence their thought, their thought process. This person spends tons of time in their head. Very stubborn person too, though. A, an authoritative person. So this could be somebody who has some power here when it comes to like the workplace or in their home. So, mm, page of cups. Now they wanna say, I'm sorry, cancer energy. This person wants to apologize. See, they wanna apologize, thank you spirit. They wanna apologize for being manipulative, putting you in competition, five of swords energy, wearing a mask, playing mind games being deceptive. Mm. Show me more about the Divine Masculine. Thank you. The Ace of Swords. This person wants to have a conversation with you and communicate. Like I said, they will call you. They miss you and they do want you back here. This person wants to really just tell you why they did what they did or what happened. But I feel like you already know, especially with this intuition um, energy being here. I feel like this person is having like an aha moment, realizing what occurred between the two of you. They may have also received some new information that is is like, you know, being some new information is for some of you all, some new information is being revealed to this person, which is why the, yeah, something's being revealed here. The truth that's being revealed is the two of cups. When it, whatever information that was revealed to this person, they want to apologize to you. And now they're realizing like you are their person, two of cups energy, more cancer energy. They know that you're a soulmate here. This person is in love with you and they do want to reconcile. Oof. All right, let's see. What's this? The hair of font. Yeah, this person is being spiritually guided towards you. They're learning something. For some of y'all, they may have went and spoke with someone here with their hair font who offered them some advice. This could have been the person that gave them some form of clarity or is like the person who is like may have said something to them who like the hair font is the per person who prompts the aha moment, right? They give you this great advice and they're a great teacher. They have, they're very wise. Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Yeah. This person is wants, wants a commitment. Hmm. With you. So what's this Divine Masculine's next step here? What, what action are they going to take towards my collective? What action will they take towards my collective, please? Ace of Wands. Yeah, Ace of Wands. They want a new passionate start with you. They want success. They, you inspire this person. What actions? Three of Cups. They want to reconcile. High Priestess. But the thing is, if this person comes back, be careful with that because the High Priestess is about secrets. With this Three of Cups, with this High Priestess coming out after, after the Three of Cups, this is kind of giving like they may still have this other person. They may still want want to keep 
keep you in a third party situation here. Let's see. Show me why the high priestess is here. Clarify the high priestess. Or maybe this person is not telling you the complete whole truth. Why is the high priestess here, please? King of Cups. Cancer Pisces. Why is the high priestess here with the King of Cups? Nine of Cups. Well, this person feels like you are wish fulfillment and they do love you. But I still just be careful because this high priestess in this three of cups is, is just really telling me they're hiding a third party. Do they love you? Yes. Do they want to heal this? Yes. Are you a wish fulfilled? Yes, you are. Um, Scorpio energy here. Ten of Pentacles. This person does want a family with you. They do want commitment. I mean, I don't know. For some of y'all, this person could be married too. I don't know. but Because we did see divorce here. But overall, devil energy here. Capricorn energy came. So the devil is following the Ten of Pentacles. So someone here, for those of you who are dealing with someone, like I said, divorce energy came out. This person could be getting a divorce from a family or separating from a toxic family situation or they have a toxic family environment right now. For some of you, yeah, Three of Wands, Knight of Wands, Ew, Two of Pentacles. You see what I'm saying? Like, just use your discernment here because... What else here? What else does the collective need to know about this situation? Six of Pentacles. Yeah, definitely could be giving to you and somebody else. They definitely were not giving uh, equally. At one point, this person was not giving in a balanced way. They do want to reach out to you and talk with you. And I feel like, you know, it's like the same old, same old when you do hear from this person. Do they have past regret? They do have past regret. But I just feel like... Hmm. Show me more here. Mm -mm. Be careful with this energy. Knight of Swords. I feel like this person is going to come in quick and hot. And this is somebody who's reckless, you know? It's, I feel like it's the same old, same old energy here with this Knight of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. It's like they can't let you go. They rush in, but I feel like they're still going to be giving it someone else. Because they rush in because they can't let you go and they're stuck in this regret. But I feel like they want you and someone else still. Two of Wands. Yeah, they're stuck in between two paths. This person kind of really doesn't know what they want. There are two paths, um, but I don't, I don't see this person growing. King of Wands, okay. This King of Wands knows there's two paths, and there's a, there's a way, a direction they need to go in here, okay. So are they gonna? Which path are they gonna take? Show me more on this King of Wands, Ten of Wands, okay. They're getting ready to end something that's very burdensome here. This King of Wands is stressed out and overburdened and they feel like they, it's, it's going to take everything in this King of Wands might to walk away from whatever the hell fire it is that they said. And I feel like, honestly, they're the one who poured the gasoline on it. That's what it, it looks like somebody lit some shit on fire and then they watched it burn and they walked away. Show me more on the King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here now. Um, the world. Yeah, they're about to end something here. They're about to set some shit on fire and watch it burn and walk away. The world card. So something is coming to... Somebody's about to learn a karmic lesson and maybe grow. I don't know. Page of Pentacles. So they can come offer you this something new to somewhere else. Yeah, the lovers on the bottom of the deck. Somebody's about to make a choice. Gemini energy. Seven of Cups. They are confused for sure. This person's definitely confused. See, the thing is, they know they want to be single, but they're confused about which direction they want to go in. But I feel like somebody here is going through some form of tower moment here. <sighs> somebody's being forced to change something if they want this Ace of Cups with you. King of Pentacles. 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Scorpio energy. So, yeah, that's going to be your reading you tonight, you guys. Um, so, yeah, hit the like button and subscribe. And make sure your notifications are turned on all so that you get um, notifications on when we post new readings, okay? Bye.